a little alcohol gel, very important. Especially if we're going to wear gloves afterwards. That way maybe I can really use gloves. Right. Then I have got a few things uh, I needed to check today with you. start with listening to your heart right okay so wait what did I need for your heart right 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 there we go around, oh, what does that say, artery, arm, no, we don't do it on the arm, we do it around the neck, because there is your aorta, there we go, and then we're just going to have to bump it up, And then this is going to tell me how many heartbeats you're going to have per minute. And I think that the little arrow is going to to like give me your heartbeat. I'm not sure if this is correct. Your heartbeat is a little bit on the higher side to be in respite. It's decreasing. Yeah. We're at 80 now. And we're dropping very slowly. It doesn't seem to show your heartbeats themselves. Like the touchy doing of the needle, it's not doing that. But yeah, heart rate could be a bit lower, but I guess it's fine. I'll just be listening to your heart in a second, like actually listening, I think. We're going to just do it that way. Move this from your neck. Alright, now there's like so much air in this. Oh wait, I know this one. See? I knew this one. I knew this one. Oh, and the thing it gets back to zero. Good thing I knew how to do that one. Um, right, I'm just going to be listening a bit, okay? So just try not to breathe too much. Well, 
I do sound well. I do hear the badum badum badum, so I think it's fine. Um, I don't hear like any badum 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 badum, so pretty well. Even if I say so myself, I mean pretty good. So your heart rate was about seventy-eight when it stopped moving. So. And then the rhythm is normal. Alright, and then I was thinking to just, you know, take your temperature. Might have been a while since you last took it. So this thingy has a little sensor, I'm just going to put this in my ears and if I'm correct this is going to compare um, my healthy temperature with yours and somehow I'll be able to hear it if the temperature is off. very loud. That's a little less loud, so I imagine that's a bit cold, right? Maybe like a ride in the middle of your head. I think this is where I need to take it, like just here. But that's pretty loud, so I think you might be having a fever. Yeah, I think you've got a bit of a fever. And this is actually very uncomfortable in the ears. Let me see. So as for my temperature, I usually am a 36.7-ish, so you were slightly louder than mine, so I am assuming that you've got a 37.9 degrees Celsius, so that's just a bit of a fever. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, okay. Oh wait! Oh my god, I was so wrong. I actually found a tomorrow thermometer. Okay then. Just going to put this on. And I'll just be putting this in your ear. Okay. Like this. I need to turn it around a bit. I don't know if I should do that.
it says 34.4 degrees Celsius. So I think this one's broken. So, we've done that, we've done that. Then I will be checking your mouth as well. So for that, I was supposed to use... Where did I need to use this? Right. I need to be able to look quite deep into your mouth, so... This is going to use the epic light for it. I don't know why they call it an epic light, but... Well, open up wide for me. And try not to breathe. Okay. Thank you. Just for a second. To locate behind your teeth. Same on the side. Behind your teeth. Okay, and then I can see like in the back. Open up a bit more. Alright. I do see in the back that there is like, like a little thingy hanging. Is it bothering you? Because we can probably surgically remove it. Yeah. Are you sure it's not bothering you? Like it's, you have like a little thingy like dangling from the back of your throat. Okay then. If you were to change your mind, you can, just let me know, okay? Ooh, I know a little trick, you can just use it at home Like when you've got these, um, how are they called? Like... What's it called? You have like these little thingies of skin sticking out sometimes And it's not a wrath or a wart What? It's not a wart but it's something that you can remove with like very tightly um, like little elastics in a way that you can use and you can just like try and dead tight the skin off in a way so maybe you can use like some of those elastics to just put around your I think there is there's been more cases of this I... is it the uvula? what's it called? Yeah, I mean, it's benign, so I wouldn't bother too much, but, you know. But apart from that, I like that your, that the inside of your cheeks were nice and like a, a rosy, purpley, reddish color. So, I did like that. So, purple, rosy, reddish. Radishes. Might have some radishes for lunch. Might be spicy though. Right, and then I want to check your ears as well. Okay. So let's do that. So just be looking inside your ears with these so I'm just going to have a look see there but the hair canal seems not very deep in your case it's a bit shiny on the inside greasy maybe And I do see some green, but hmm, maybe I'm colorblind, so I definitely would not be too concerned about that. I mean, it is just a color after all. It's not as pretty though as your mouth, so. I'm just 
going to put my finger in if you don't mind. some hairs. You could probably wax them out. Like especially the ones a bit on the inside here. They're a bit ugly. And they don't really have a function. So. If I do this, okay. And again, just like the other side, I'm just going to put my finger in. Maybe that's fine. Right. So since we're writing down any colors, green discharge. But even if it was something bad, you you would probably just work it out by itself. No action points there. And then I'm going to check your nose as well. I don't really know what I need to check in your nose, but I've got this great tool that has and the nozzle that fits exactly perfectly into any nostril. So and if it's a big nostril I can go like deeper and everything. So that's actually great. It comes with a little box and it's got multiple sizes of these things, so that's uh, like what awesome. It even has a cool little light. So I'm just going to have a look see. Okay, so I'm supposed to look into the little thing. Look at this. Okay, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Why did you last blow your nose? Hmm. A little bit of a hairy nose here as well. Not. I have like these. Is that scar tissue? I don't know. Is it scar tissue? I don't know. That's scar tissue, but it looks nasty. Yeah, it looks nasty. I'm just going to call it mucus. I haven't used that word today yet, so you can see this and wax job needed. There's your action point. Great. Then I see that you've got something on your skin. So I'm just going to grab some kind of a cream. And then I'll just be checking your skin a bit. I'll probably just go ahead and apply the cream. Okay. Don't mind me. Right, I've 
got that and then it's going to do a face inspection but then I need to see right this is what well, this is for so I'm just going If I'm correct, this is supposed to tell me if there are any lumps or bumps on your skin, and then if you have uh, skin that's too greasy. I would be able to see it on this little sticky. I think I may have scratched some of your seats, but apart from that, I think we need to worry about it. grab a skin sample too. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm just going to rub until there are some flakes that are coming to come off, okay? Going to go all over with my best chance to get some of those little pieces of skin. Quite a few now. 
Alright. Oh, and then I needed to check your eyes as well. Right. And that. I saw I did this. Check this. I did that. Okay. to be using this one apparently so let's go um keep your eyes open okay please just don't blink otherwise I can't do my work I actually haven't found anything more reliable than this because to be honest I don't think this is the most handiest of tools wearing glasses. Well, do you wear glasses? See, I knew I forgot something essential. My head sometimes. Okay. That's, that's really wrong if you just didn't blink. Thank you. Like, the whites of your eyes are... they seem white to me. I mean, not perfectly white, but like a bit yellow, which is still fine, right? And then... What else? Well... Well, that's funny. That pupil is bigger than that pupil. Quite funny, really. assistant so basically that then I did this and that and then I want to do like a sharp or blunt test okay so then I suppose that this is going to be blunt because like it has no you know and then this would be sharp oh well let's go Sharp or blunt? No, this is blunt. You know. What's this? No, because this is sharp. Right? Because this doesn't have a point. You know? What's this? And this, you know what, it's fine, let's, let's just, you know, let's just leave it, that's fine. But I did want to do put some of that cream on you, you know, I'm just going to use a spatula because I think that's what a spatula is for. So, I know it uses on your skin already, so it's fine, right? There because this is where you have like some some zits and then this cream is supposed to be good for everything It's best if I 
like try and clog your pores so that there is like no more sebum coming out causing the zits, you know? Everything I want to check today. Right, so. Um, I'll send you the invoice. Right? 